today I have a little bit of a challenge going on just because there are so many pinks I plan on catching my silvers or at least catching one silver putting it on a stringer and then what my plan is is I kind of got a challenge for myself today I would like to catch a pink salmon on a top water don't know if it's gonna happen don't know if it's even possible don't know if they'll do it but the way I seen they were biting my fly yesterday I had no weight on I was really kind of just floating a fly through there and they were smacking the crap out of it so it wouldn't surprise me if I could take one on the surface but we will see but that's a little challenge I got going today but originally uh, but just to start out with I'm gonna kind of trout fish my way in there and uh, see if I can't catch some nice trout then once I get back to the location I'll probably catch a silver put it on a stringer that way just in case other people show up there they don't pull all the silvers out from underneath me and uh, and then I'll be going to the top water uh, mouse pattern so should be an inter uh, a interesting video so go ahead and follow along and uh, I'll try to keep it as short as possible and keep it as, as interesting as possible and uh, we're gonna get out there and get to it appreciate all you guys subscribing thank you so very much appreciate all you guys I've ran into quite a few of you guys out here in the field or out here on the river and uh, it's been cool I appreciate it guys appreciate you guys stopping me and saying hey and uh, telling me you watch my videos it really makes my day so you guys are all awesome appreciate you guys and uh, until I see you guys tight lines all right all right guys first order of business is get across the river without getting my drone wet we got about a 15 minute walk ahead of us not too bad but we'll be fishing soon all right you guys so the river looks better for trout fishing today that's a good sign Mine's all messed up. We got this giganto leader on here, it's like a 10 foot leader. Not the best thing, but uh, anyways, I wanted to stop here and see if I could possibly get a trout to hit. I think a good chunk of the trout have been pushed out of this part of the river by the salmon. There we go. No way. Never hit that snake. New stick in there. Guys, I'm using a muddler minnow. And uh, the plan is to get one on top water here, hopefully. I see him rolling in there. I've seen him jump quite a bit. I got my phone, I got a beauty. Send my phone, come take a video of this. Yeah. Sorry. Let me get him in first. He's nice, so. He's a stud. He's a stud. He's a stud. It's a stud. Oh, why couldn't you take a good one? It's a stud. Yeah, hold on to my belt so it don't pull me in. Oh, hang on, I got my blue tooth in. What? Do you want me to do a video or what? Yeah, video me. Alright, you guys, got a nice one on here. Wife's here to take a picture of me. Which is cool. Emmy! And Silas, watch out, son. Look at this thing. Look at that thing. Yeah, 
Look at that fish, guys. Big trout. Did we see yep. mine? Right here. It's one of my favorite holes. But I just broke off, so I'll be hitting that on my way back. She just looks pulling stuff full of pinks anyway. I run, ran all my rainbows out of there. But anyways, guys, I'm continuing my trick. I stopped and fished for a minute there. Now I'm just kind of carrying on, headed where I'm going, trying to beat anybody else that might be heading that direction. Not sure if there will be or if there won't be. A little bit later in the afternoon, so there's a good chance I could see somebody up here. Doesn't look like a whole lot of traffic through here anyway. Maybe a few bears. Like you can see right here. These big pushed over grass from bears just mowing them down. But uh I get asked sometimes, well, how do I find these places? And uh, truth be told, is I'm just an exploring maniac. I kind of always want to see what's around the corner. And sometimes when you look around that corner, you'll find little gems like I'm about to show you today. Back here with the bears, ladies and gentlemen every single day of my life i am basically so those of you that limit your spots and you're worried about bears right here prime example i'm in it every day ladies and gentlemen i am in on a salmon filled river in a remote location and i will have absolutely zero problems with bears Fingers crossed. I do carry a weapon. I carry a 10 mil, just in case. But in six years, I've had to draw it one time. So, and I didn't even have to shoot. I just made some loud noises and boom, on her way she went. So don't let fear hold you back, ladies and gentlemen. Get out there, explore live your life all those places you said you wanted to go you never went go there it's not great but oh, we got people some people up here yep. just a billion pinks in here today but i know there's some silvers just gotta find them I might just catch a fish on the six weight to get her started. So hard not to snag a fish. They're just everywhere. I'm like a landy dick. Down there. And down here. No.
All right, guys, got a nice silver here. Find a spot to land them. Here we go. Here we go. Wish I had a net for this buddy. Got him on the old stream of fly. guys got a nice silver poked him with the uh little streamer fly i'm gonna get him in the water i bled him so he's already turning colors but uh not a bad first silver of the season oh all right you guys got my last silver another little one but i pair hooked it so i think throw it around the stringer if i can find a place to land it Pretty small. I thought I'd just see them bleeding like crazy. There he goes. He was hooked in the gill plate. Maybe should have kept him because he was bleeding, but I ain't trying to get the ticket. you guys time to get on with the video here time to do my challenge i'm going to attempt to catch a pink salmon on a top water mouse pattern um i got one silver so i can still fish so basically what i'm gonna do is go after some pinks then i will uh switch back over and get my silver to go home with Right now I'm tying on my favorite mouse pattern. I'm not sure if this is going to be cheating or not. Just because this, this mouse tends to uh, sink a tad bit. So I don't know if it's actually going to be considered top water. But uh, we'll, we'll start out with this one and see how it goes. Hopefully I keep those stinking pinks off my line. Because while I was silver fishing I was just having one heck of a time. There's just so many pinks in here. It's incredible. But we're going to get out there. We're going to carry on with me. And then before I get out of here, I'm going to try to get my last silver. But we'll be right back, guys. We'll see you soon. Mouse pattern officially on there. We're going for it. Big old silver there. So instead of a silver on the top water, I would definitely take, instead of a pink, I would definitely take a silver. He's going to be more than likely one to bite it, I think. Just because they're a lot more bitier. Definitely don't want to let it sink. Ooh, I had one going for it. They're coming for it. They're coming for it. All right, guys. I got 16 minutes to make this happen, so. Throw these guys up here. Nice little short, choppy strips. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on. like a whole bunch of them to chase it. Oh man. Missed him. Maybe I need to try to dip. Try a little bit longer, more steady strokes.
So, it's not going great. I mean, I'm getting them to chase pretty good. They just won't really, they're just nibbling it. So I hooked one and fought them for a second. But they're just really not smashing it. And like, maybe that one looks interested. Oh man, he was chewing on it. Chewing on that thing. All right, you guys, I did it. I got a pink salmon on a mouse pattern, top water. I'd like to get them in. I'm gonna move this over here. That video one. This video one. We're just like right here. Here we go. As you can see, this fish clearly bit that mouse. It did not, uh, I'm gonna fight him like a trout because I want to get him in there with the mouse in his mouth. Show you guys, it wasn't plossed. He bit it. I watched him bite it. There we go. I did it. I did it. I knew I could do it. Ah, oh, he got off. Anyways, had him smack in the mouth. I can prove that on my GoPro. And I had him on the mouse pattern. And it's pretty sure he bit my tail off. Damn it. Mmm. Stinker. All good. Alright, you guys. So I got my two silvers. I got my pink on the top water mouse. Now, all I need is a nice big rainbow trout before I head off the river. So that's what I'm planning to go do. Go drop in some of my holes and see if I can't pull out a nice one. Hopefully, I smack old fat daddy. The pinks have kind of pushed all my beautiful rainbows out of the normal holes. So I'm just gonna try this one hole down here, see how it works out. So I believe, unfortunately, all my trout holes are going to be completely overrun by pinks right now, so not looking good on the trout. Try another five minutes here. I'm getting bites, but I'm almost positive they're from the pinks. Alright you guys, I'm all finished up, got my fish cut up, I should have videoed that, getting a lot better at playing these days, I don't have to be so ashamed of it, but uh, yep, had a good day, uh, got two silvers and had a good time, we will be back again here real soon, appreciate you guys watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys on the next adventure.